Hey guys, Simply Betta here. Today we're at the toy store finding some toys for my daughter because her birthday is going to be very, very soon. <laughs> oh, you want that ball for your birthday? We're taking a trip to the toy store today. It's going to be my little baby girl's birthday soon, so we're picking out a few birthday presents. Which might be this cute little stroller. Do you want that enormous puppy? Yeah. Yeah? You push those toy cars around, honey. Oh, and the baby. Toy cars and the baby. That's a fun, bouncy horse. Go! <laughs> Whoa, stuffed fish. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this is the coolest. This is a griffin riding a griffin. Back, you fiend, to the shadows with you. You shall not. Are you recording? I think I need this. We go cook, 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 cook. Oh, yep, we turn the gas. Gotta turn the gas all the way on. We're cooking on the stove. We had so much fun at the toy store. I had so much fun at the toy store. This is a really big bear. It's my babies. <laughs> So I have an update on Sheila the Bearded Dragon. I had a video on her a few days ago about how she was having issues passing her eggs. She was acting funny. I brought her to the vet and it's on, it's one of my daily vlogs. I can put a link down below if you guys want to go check it out. Maybe I'll put a link at the end of the video, something like that. Anyways, when we went to the vet, she got a vitamin shot. I got some liquid calcium supplements. Um, an x-ray found that she, it didn't look like she was egg bound, but the problem was that she just, she hadn't eaten for me for over two weeks. So I was just, I was really afraid that I had an egg bound bearded dragon, but maybe that's not the case. Um, Sheila has been digging and she's been very active even in her dig box. She spent a couple days just kind of digging around aimlessly, but she made herself a little cave tonight. And I really, really hope that she's laying her eggs in there. And I guess I'll find out tomorrow. I'll take her out tomorrow or poke my hand in there and try to see if she laid her eggs. It'd be really great if she did because then I could just stop worrying about it. This poor thing looks so exhausted. She's been digging all night. I talked to a bearded dragon breeder on Instagram and he told me that from the signs, it, he thinks that she's going to lay her eggs very soon and to not be worried about it, but I'm going to keep my eye on her. Okay, now we're back to the fish room. It's time to do a few things today. I think I'm going to fill up these 20 gallon tanks that I put on my upper shelf. Okay, I'm done. These guys are full. I'll, I'll let that water come to temperature. Put some dechlorinator in there, age a little bit, and then I'll show you who's going in it. This tank down here, all these little guys are going to be going into one of those 20 gallon longs. I think the fish from my algae tank, which is my so the start of my spade tail experiments, are going to be going into a 20 gallon long. Mostly just so I can clean the algae out of this tank because it's starting to really bug me. So I'm going to remove these guys and put them in the 20 gallon. And to do that, first I'm going to drain the tank down pretty pretty far so I can remove it just by hand from the nook over here. Um, it's going to make it a lot easier for me to, to remove all the plants and be able to look down and catch all the fish. I'm going to go walk away for a little while and do some other things. I stuck an air stone in an airline that's siphoning water out so it's going to make it nice and slow. It's not going to suck up any baby fry. I set a timer on my phone. I'm going to come back here and check on it in 20 minutes. I don't know, it's just kind of an easy way to take water out when you're trying to do a bunch of stuff at once. Just don't forget about it. It'll flood your floor. I've done it before. I'm going to scoop out some of this duckweed. Okay guys, I drained a lot of the tank so I could move it out. Now I'm going to be scooping a lot of this duckweed and salvinia out because I don't want it anyways. And then the fry will be fairly easy to catch. I got a little distracted and I decided to do some 50% water changes on these fry tanks. So I'm filling them up, back up. The fry that I took out of this tank here are sitting in this five gallon bucket. I have a lot of duckweed 
to clear out because I don't really want duckweed in this fry tank. I think it's kind of annoying. There are some fish left. Um, it's going to take a while for me to get all the little stragglers out. So these guys might stay the night in this five gallon bucket because it's starting to get late, but that's no big deal. I'll just put more water in it. Thanks for watching my daily vlog challenge. I think this is number 12. Have a great day.